Hi, my name is Maggie Murphy, and I'm the Visual Art and Humanities Librarian here at UNC Greensboro. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a face covering using a pattern that I've adapted from a company called A Plot, which usually makes aprons and other kitchenware, uh, but now they have started to produce their own face coverings. This style face covering is called an origami mask because of these folds. So the finished product looks like this. And when you put it on, this part goes up and over your nose, which is nice because it creates a little bit of a seal uh, if you wear glasses like I do. Uh, and so I have two finished versions here. Before we get started, I just wanna cover some of the materials that you're going to need. So first off, you're going to need some woven fabric. For woven fabric, you can use any uh, cotton fabric that um, does not have too much stretch to it. So here I've got a pillowcase. You can see not really any stretch. Here I've got a bandana. You can see not really any stretch. Um, but a t-shirt made out of standard knit fabric is going to have quite a bit of stretch to it. And so you don't want anything that's too stretchy. And if your fabric is really wrinkled when you get started, you'll wanna iron it into flat pieces. You're also going to need a ruler or to pr print the template um, from the original pattern, which you can use instead of the ruler to cut your pieces. You'll need some scissors. You'll need something to sew with, either a needle and thread or a sewing machine. And you'll need two hair ties uh, or hair bows or whatever you call them um, and these will be the ear pieces on either side. Yeah, you're going to want to clip the corners about one and a half to two inches in. So you're cutting off the right angles of the rectangle so you have a piece that kind of looks like an exaggerated stop sign. And so you're going to have two pieces like that. If you have a fabric that has print on one side, we call this the right side and this the wrong side. So if you hear me say right sides together, um, I'm referring to the print side of the fabric. This piece of fabric doesn't have a print on it, so there is no right side or wrong side. So once I have my two pieces of fabric, I'm going to stack them right sides together, meaning the print is on the inside and the plain side is on the outside. From there, I'm going to stitch up this edge, around this edge, down this edge, and stop. And do the same thing on this side, down, around, and up, leaving this edge and this edge unsewn. You wanna start your line about a quarter inch from the corner and you wanna stop it about a quarter inch from the corner. So don't go all the way to the edge. You wanna start and stop it about a quarter inch from the corner. If you're hand sewing, you want to put your stitches close together because that will make the stitches more secure and the mask less likely to pull apart, especially after you've washed it a couple of times. So now I'm going to get my sewing machine ready um, and I'm going to stitch along those edges. So you'll see, let me hold up this side, that I started about a quarter inch from the edge and my whole seam runs about a quarter inch from the edge all the way around, all the way around. And then I stop about a quarter inch in from the edge. And I did that on both sides. So now I'm going to clip my extra threads. And then I'm going to turn this right side out. 
So we sewed it together the first time, inside out. And now we're turning it right side out. So the print is on the outside. And so if you have an iron, you probably want to press these seams flat. But if you don't have an iron and you started with nice unwrinkly fabric, you can just finger press these, which means to just run your finger along the edge a bunch of times to push the seams flat. So the next thing we're going to do is add the ear pieces. And for that, we need our hair ties. So what I'm going to do is cut the hair tie right where, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a little piece of glue there, right where it's cinched together. And this is going to be one ear piece. So I tried to adjust my camera so you can see this part a little better. So I have both of my hair ties cut into single pieces of elastic and I have my piece of fabric that I just sewed, or two pieces of fabric that I just sewed into a single piece, seams on the inside, print on the outside. And we left this part open. And now what we're going to do is fold it in until it's a flat edge. So you're sort of folding in the edges and press it flat. And that's going to be the edge of the mask. And I actually have an extra little piece. Nope, I got it. Thought I had an extra thread there, but I did not. And what we're going to do is actually slide this in on one side, slide this in on the other side, and we're going to sew a line from here straight down. And what that will do is hold in our earpiece. Um, and so again, if you are hand sewing, you wanna add a lot of stitches where you can feel the elastic underneath and you want to push the edge of the elastic past that part uh, because you wanna sew uh, a quarter inch in from the edge again. You wanna sew a quarter inch in from the edge, make sure that the elastic is past, just past that quarter inch and you wanna add a lot of stitches where there's the elastic and then sew a straight line down to the other edge of the elastic, added a couple extra stitches there to hold it in place and then you've got your earpiece. So I'm going to do this on my sewing machine again. And there you can see that I sewed this pocket closed and I have my earpiece. And so I'm just going to repeat it here on the other side. I'm gonna fold this in to create my flat edge. I'm going to take my piece of elastic, slide one side in up against the seam, make sure it pokes down past the quarter inch point same thing on this side. If I'm hand sewing, I'm making my stitches nice and close together and I'm adding a couple of stitches where the elastic touches uh, the thread. And so I'm gonna do it on my sewing machine again. All right, and again, I close that pocket so there's no open edges on my mask now, and my earpiece is in place. So now I wanna trim my extra threads again. At this point, you have the option of what's called top stitching, which means that you can take from where you started the line and keep stitching a quarter inch from the end which makes your mask lay a little flatter and it looks maybe a little bit more finished. So you can see that this one here has been top stitched. There is a line of 
uh, stitches right there. Maybe I'll try it with the pink one. You can see it a little better. And so there's some tab stitching here, but you don't have to. And we're gonna skip that step for this tutorial. So once you have your mask put together, you're gonna decide which side you want facing out. Um, so I'd like this to be the outside. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to fold this bottom edge up and either iron it or finger press it really good. And do the same thing here, fold this down. And you wanna fold it up until about a quarter inch away from the edge of this diagonal here. So you want these two pieces to fold up and almost meet. And depending on how you cut your diagonal fabric, they might meet or they might slightly overlap, but you want it to be like that. Two nice pieces folding up. And what we're gonna do at this point is add a line of stitches about half an inch away from the point. So you wanna add a line of stitches half an inch away towards the, the end of the mask. And so you can see on this one, I hope you can see, there's a line of stitches right across. And this is what creates the fold, the origami fold. And so what we're gonna do is sew straight through all the layers about half an inch away from the corner and towards the end of the mask, just straight across. And you're gonna wanna start, again, let me shock you, about a quarter inch away from the edge. And I'm gonna do this with my sewing machine again. And then I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. Then I'm gonna trim my edges, or my extra thread rather. And I have my finished face covering. So here I've got my origami folds. Looks just like the others that we finished, minus the top stitching. Sorry, that was my remote for my camera. So just the same. And I'll model this for you in just a second. And this is the finished product. So you see we have the origami fold and the piece that goes right up and over our nose and under my glasses, no fog. 